Good day, brothers and sisters. This is Steve Sandoval, and welcome to Pathways of Hope. Today we reflect on John 6, verse 51 to 58. And let me quote that famous verse in 51, which says, I am the living bread that came down from heaven. Whoever eats of the flesh will live forever. And the bread that I will give for the life of the world is my flesh. Further on, I'd like to quote 53 to 54, where Jesus says, Very truly, I tell you, unless you eat the flesh of the Son of Man and drink his blood, you have no life in you. Those who eat my flesh and drink my blood have eternal life, and I will raise them up on the last day. These words were so difficult for the disciples at that time to accept. In fact, after this verse, some of his disciples left him because they thought, what is he saying? Why would we eat the flesh of our Lord Jesus? But as we all know today, our Lord made it clear when he instituted the Blessed Sacrament, the Holy Eucharist in the Last Supper. And when he did this, I I realized this was a sign of his unconditional love for man and that he not only came to be united with us as man and giving up his life for us, he gave himself as part of the material world like food which nourishes our bodies, he was saying, I am the true earthly food that when we eat, you will not go hungry again. Jesus offers himself to us unconditionally as the kind of food for our souls that will give us everlasting life. When we eat, our Holy Eucharist, his promise to us who follow him is that this is the bread of life which gives us grace to live a life of holiness and lead us to our final destination, which is the eternal life of our Father's kingdom. Brothers and sisters, I, I want to testify to that grace. I have gone through many ups and downs in my life. And I remember and recall a time in life felt like I wasn't making any progress towards a meaningful end. I was too critical of myself for all my weaknesses. And at that time, my mom, mother, was still around, and I went to her to seek her advice. And the only thing she said to me was, go to Mass with me. In the beginning, I didn't feel any changes. But as I continued to go with her in daily Mass, receiving communion, a renewed sense of hope just suddenly sprang out in my soul. And a love for the Lord began to grow. I believe this was the grace the Lord spoke of for those who receive him. Brothers and sisters, I encourage you. Go before the blessed sacrament. Take him. Take time to receive him. For indeed, our Lord has offered himself. Unlike the bread 
and food that we eat of this material world, the bread of life that he offers us is a bread that swells in our hearts hope and gives us the desire to live a life of holiness. This indeed is the bread of life, the bread of life that will give us life eternal. God bless you all.